Okay, what I'm going to go into in this video is how to create a round image out of a square image for Prezi because uh, Prezi has the option of circular frames so why not use them and make them look nice. So what I've got here is, uh, is, is a llama picture or it might be an alpaca and originally it was a square. I'm going to go over to Photoshop and show you how I actually was able to create a round image out of a square one. So I'm just going to go over to Photoshop. I'm going to go File, Open and navigate to my baffled alpaca which is this JPEG file here and open it. Okay, so here we have a rectangular alpaca and I want a round one. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is duplicate my background over here on the right side. There's a layers uh, panel here. I duplicate the layer Sorry, I don't do it like that. I'm going to duplicate the layer like that. Okay, so there are two uh, copies over here. So these layers are like, um, you can imagine them uh, sheets of paper or transparent paper sitting one on top of the other. If you shift one off, uh, you'll see the one under it. So it's basically identical images sitting one on top of the other. So I'm going to turn the eyeball off for the image underneath, uh, which just gives us uh, a, a transparency um, underneath. I'll show you what the transparency looks like if I turn off this other eyeball. So there we are, we're looking at the very bottom layer there and this uh, cross hatching here um, uh, means that it's, a, it, it's just like, it's just transparent. Okay, so I turn my eyeball back on over here and um, I'm ready to cut a circular, um, circular chunk out of this image. Okay, so I'm going to go to the right side of Photoshop, uh, sorry, to the left, left side of Photoshop over here and in, in the tools down on this side you can see um, a sort of a dotted triangle, or a dotted, sorry, dotted rectangle. Um, it, there's, if, you, if you click on it and hold it down you can see that there's a range of different um, shapes you can get um, out of this. I'm going to go to the elliptical marquee tool which will create a round shape. Um, it'll be elliptical unless I press down the shift button at the same time. So I'm holding my shift button down and now I'm coming back over to my image and I can, as you can see there, as I pull my mouse, I'm pressing down the left hand, um, you know, I'm, I'm, drag I'm clicking and dragging my mouse out. And as you can see, if I click and drag, I'm creating a round circle. Now, if I want to move the whole circle so I'm getting it over the llama's face, it's shift and space bar. So shift and space bar together will allow me to move this um, boundary thing around. I'm actually keeping my hand, my, my finger pressed down on the um, mouse cursor as well. So at the moment I've got one finger on shift, one finger on the space bar and one finger on the mouse. Okay, now I'm going to let go of the space bar and it'll draw out the circle more. Okay, put this put my finger back on the space bar. I can move it up and down with the mouse, never letting go of the mouse. Okay, when I've found an image, when I've found a spot on the image that I, I'm happy with, I'm first of all letting my finger off the mouse, then off the space bar, and now off the shift key. So I've got a boundary there, a sort of a little marching ants boundary around the llama's face. Now I'm going to go up to select at the top of the page here and go down to inverse which means that Photoshop will select all the things uh, all around the edges of, of the bit I want. So now I'm just going to press the delete key and what we have now is a round image. 
I probably didn't centre that llama very well and there'd be all sorts of other ways to do it to keep in more ears. But anyway, uh, I've got a round image there on a transparent background. Okay, now I want to make sure that I can keep this transparency um, as, as we go, like save it as an image that's transparent around the edges like that so it'll fit nicely um, into Prezi. So now I'm going to go File, Save for Web. Now the option to choose here um, in the dialog box is PNG8. Choose PNG8 and that will preserve the transparency. Also, I'm going to, in this dialog box, it says percentage in terms of size. I'm just going to create a sort of a 50% size image there and save. Okay, so I've now got baffled alpaca and I'll just call it um, small circle. Baffled alpaca small circle dot PNG. So PNG is the important um, suffix here because it means that you've created a, a form that's going to uh, hang on to the transparency, preserve the transparent effect and save. And let's say I didn't have this guy already here, I would go insert image, select files and Okay, I've got to remember where I put it. I put it in my digital assets folder. There we go, baffled alpaca circle. I'll stretch that out so you can see it. Baffled alpaca small circle PNG open. And it's processing. And what I should get is another small round alpaca. And I can make this guy big or small or whatever. And I can add, um, let's say I want to add that voice bubble to him. Voice, yeah, voice bubble. Shape, symbols and shapes. And I think I found it in sketched or cute. I think it was in sketched. And maybe down the bottom here somewhere. There we go. Voice thingy bobby there. I'll um, zoom in so we can get a bit closer and then I'm going to add text. Wow. Okay, I'll make it black so it all goes in. And I'll make it a bit bigger. Okay, so there we have a round alpaca who would fit very nicely in a Prezi frame. If I go over here and I choose circle frame. Here we go. I can put my alpaca in its own frame. And it kind of looks cute in Prezi. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Thanks for watching.